This is code.org. I'm working on CS principles, unit 5, building apps, lesson 9, if else if, and conditional logic, part 11, and operator. This is good stuff. Uh, it's important. Again, you will see the JavaScript uh, Boolean operators and, which is two uh, and symbols, right? That symbol, ampersand symbols, and or, which are these two lines in the code toolbar. The or is shift under backspace, and then obviously the and symbols are the letter 7, shift and 7. You drag them out, simply type them. Let's now try out and operator as a reminder. Yeah, so and operates as true or returns true only if both sides are true. So for and, true, true, this would be true. For and, though, true, false, this would be false. You absolutely have to have both sides. Or maybe I say 5 is less than 8 and 5 is less than 1. This whole thing is false. It wouldn't run in anything in this if statement and it would drop below it and run the next line. Okay? Whereas or, well, one side of this is true, it would evaluate to true and run this line. Okay. Now that being said, let's see what we got here. Add an AND IF statement with a Boolean expression. Use AND operator to express. If the age is between, all right, so we have a prompt. Whatever they respond to that prompt is set to age variable. If it is between, okay, 13. Okay. So they don't say whether they mean, uh, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or just greater than, less than. I'm going to assume it is greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. So if age is less than or equal to 19, I should have flipped these. But age is greater than or equal to 13, we should show you're a teenager, otherwise, you're not. Aha. And remember, it's evaluating both of those. Yeah. So it's checking okay, are you older than 13, or are you 13 or older? Or are you 19 or younger? And if so, you're a teenager, else it does that. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.